Welcome back to video two in this quick tip series on the chord track. Today we're going to look through our audio files in the media bay to find a bass line. We're going to import that into our project and get chord track to take control of the audio file. I've got my media bay open in the racks over on the right hand side and I'm going to click on electric bass and use the filters to try and narrow down my search. I can click on the names to preview the bass parts. There's three buttons down on the right hand side. That middle button, when turned off, will play the audio file as it was recorded. But if we turn it back on again, it will automatically time stretch whatever we're previewing in the media bay window to fit the tempo of our project. When we find something we like, we drag and drop it over into the project window. Let's have a quick listen and hear how it sounds underneath the track. That sounds pretty horrible, but that's okay. We're going to fix that with chord track. Open the sample editor, click on the Vary Audio tab, and select Pitch and Warp, and now Cubase knows exactly what notes that bass player was playing. Now let's go to Chords and select Single Voice. We want to follow the chord track directly, so we select that and hit OK. Now if we hit Play, it's going to be playing the right notes, just in the wrong register. So let's drop it down to Bass. There you go. It's almost as though chord track has completely possessed that bass player. So it's taken the bass line and it's recreated the notes that it's playing to fit in with the chord track. It's pretty neat. Let's go and create a new track version and repeat that whole entire process. I'm renaming my first bass part and then going to the new version. I'm just renaming my track because you will have noticed it had the name of the previous bass line on there. What I'm trying to do is find something that I think will fit stylistically with the track. If you go too crazy, it's going to be too hard for Vary Audio and the chord track to work their magic. I'm opening up the sample editor window and I'm using Vary Audio to detect the notes, then go to chords, turn on single voice and follow directly and hit OK. I'm just putting in a little bit of a fade because I think these bass parts have been chopped up. It's quite a simple bass line and actually it fits quite well with the track. Just renaming the track version so I can remember or see what they are later. I can enhance this bass sound by selecting the VST bass amp. Just clicking on it and doing a search and typing in VST. There it is. And now I can go and apply some amp simulation or add some effects or even go in and find a preset. Now the sound's not so clean, it's a nice dirty sound which adds a bit of texture down in the low end. It's a good idea to spend some time going through the factory presets and understanding the different sounds and looking to see how you actually achieve those different sounds. The piano chords are sounding a bit simple to me, I want something a bit smoother and more legato so I'm going back into the arpeggiator. It's a bit too similar to the guitar sound. That's better. And that just gives us a different vibe going on inside of the track. Now we can go in and once again change the voicing. So I'm changing between guitar to piano. I can change the stylistic voicings. And then I can go in and change the setting for each stylistic voicing. Have a listen to the color changing. It's a bit much for this track, but for demonstration purposes, I'm sure you get the idea. And once again, there's no rules. It's up to you to feel how far you want to go with those voicings. I'm always trying to balance and shape a part as I go. So now to me, that piano part is a little more musical than someone just banging a chord. In much the same way, sonically, I'm having a look at this acoustic guitar track and I'm going to my channel strips. I'm typing in guitar to try and find an Alan Morgan channel strip that'll help that guitar just stand out a little bit more. So far what we have could easily be a verse of a song. In the next video we're going to look at developing this idea even further using the chord track. See you there.